Good day, everyone. My name is Jordan Walker. I am a CAM Applications Engineer here at Hawk Ridge Systems. Today, I'll be showing a CAMWorks tech tip for the people with plasma, laser, or water jet machines. To be upfront and clear, let me start by saying CAMWorks does not natively support these types of fabrication machines. But since the NC code can be fairly simple, we can support the basic functions such as and limited to rapid motion, linear motion, and circular motion. We cannot support more specific fabrication software functions. With that said, I'm going to show in a couple different ways how the CAMWorks software can be tailored to your specific situation. The video can be broken down into three categories, and they all have to do with the technology database, which is the brains of the CAMWorks and SOLIDWORKS CAM software. So let's get started. I'll go ahead and open up the part file that I have made. This is just like a sign on some thin steel that we'll cut out using our plasma machine. And the first thing that I want to show is how to set up your machine and your tool crit. So to do this, you got to go to the cam feature tree and then just right click on your NC manager. We'll go into our technology database. And in here, since these machines will be categorized as mill machines, we'll be on the mill tab. And then I'm going to just start by choosing the first option there, mill inch, and I'm going to copy that. So I copy, and then over here on the right, I can change my information. So I'll keep it generic. I'll just say CNC plasma. Machine ID, here you would put, this is machine one in our shop. Description, you could say three axis CNC plasma. You could be more descriptive and say it's a four foot by eight foot table. And then your post processor. So just making sure we're using the right post for that machine. And then I'm going to hit save at the top. So we can always come back into this as we get more familiar with the technology database to customize this even further. Next, I'll show you back in the mill tab, I'll show you how to create your own tool crib. So again, I'm going to start with tool crib one. At the top, I'm going to hit copy, and then I'm going to edit that copy. The name, I'll just say this is CNC Plasma. 20 stations is fine, and then I'll hit the check mark. Now with this type of machine, we're just gonna pull in one tool, and it's gonna be an end mill. We want that end mill to represent the kerf that is left behind. So let's say our kerf is an eighth inch. I would just go in to add, go down to flat end mill, and choose our eighth inch end mill. I'll come up to the top left, hit select, and that's easy, right? So from there, we'll go ahead and exit out of the technology database. And what I want to show next is our strategies. So since CAMWorks is designed for like milling machines, it wants to rough out the material by default. So let's show you how to change that. At the top, we'll go to tools, CAMWorks, over and down to default feature strategies. On here, at the top, we want to select technology database. And then we'll change all of the ones that say rough, rough, rest finish to just finish. That way, it does not produce any rough toolpaths. Once you have changed it to look like mine, so at the bottom, we could hit save if we just have one machine and want all of our defaults to be just finishes, or we could do save as and make a scheme. With the scheme, you could come in and select from our saved schemes if we have multiple types of machines. So if you have a milling machine, you could have a mill scheme where you actually do rough out the material. And then you could have a CNC plasma scheme that just does the finish passes. All right, from there at the bottom, I'm just going to hit close. And the last thing that I want to show is how to filter what features CAMWorks automatically finds for us. And to do this, you want to right click on your NC manager and go to options. Once in the CAMWorks options, at the top, we want to be in the mill features tab. And then on the left hand side is our filter. So for this part, we'll just have non holes turned on since all we want to find is the pockets on the part. And then from there, I'll say OK at the bottom. And now we're ready to make sure this part is set up. So to make sure it's set up, I'm going to be in the CAMWorks 2025 tab. And then at the top left, I'm going to choose Define Machine. I'm going to choose the Machine tab and just make sure that we're on our CNC Plasma. I'll select that. Tool crib, I want to choose my CNC plasma tool crib. And another bonus tip here is make sure you have used tool crib tools only turned on. So that way it only uses our tool crib 
to suggest tooling. It doesn't go and suggest a different tool to cut this part. From there, I'm gonna just make sure my post processor is set correctly and then OK at the bottom. Once we have that, we can then set up our coordinate system. So by default, I always like to use on these types of machines, the stock bounding box vertex. So on the left hand side, stock bounding box vertex. And then depending upon the machine, either a top or a bottom corner. So on this one, I'm gonna choose the top corner. So by default, I like to set two of these axes definitions. So I'm gonna choose my X as that edge, my Y as that edge, and then just have to reverse that. From there, green check. And now we're ready to extract machinable features. From here, I'm gonna hit at the top, extract machinable features. And this is gonna prompt Camworks to analyze the part and see what it can machine. So it's gonna look through the part, see where all of the non-holes are, and then we'll see what it suggests. So as you can see here, we have a bunch of different pockets and they're all using the finish strategy, which is correct. From here, I'm gonna hit generate operation plan. That's going to ask the technology database, OK, based on these strategies, what operations am I going to do? So we can see we're just doing our contouring, which is what we want. I'll hit Generate Toolpath. That is going to take the default settings and apply them to our toolpath. For instance, if I click on this first one, and if I zoom in there, we can see that it's trying to take multiple depth of cuts because it thinks we're a milling machine. But on these types of machines, we generally just take one cut around. So under my depth parameters, I'm going to say first cut amount 500%, which is just a large number to get the toolpath to just do one pass. So that looks correct. I'll say OK from there. And now all of the other contour mills, I want those same settings to be applied. So what I'm going to do is just right click the one that I've changed. So that first one, and then I'm going to go down to link operation, select all of those contour mills, hit the double arrows to the right, so that all of those get linked and hit link at the bottom. So it just copied all of those settings. We just now need to right click one of them and hit generate toolpath so that they all get refreshed. From here, all that's left to do is to drag and drop these operations into the correct order that you wish and generate your NC code. I hope this video has opened your mind a little to the powers of what the Camworks software can do for you. Thank you.